Hi everyone, it's Friday, Paraskevia, I'm Mr. Smith and today we're looking at the verb to have in Georgian. This verb to have, kola, deals concretely with things that are alive, normally animate objects and things that carry people that are alive. You'll see what I mean. If you're ready, let's go. Slide one addresses the elephant in the room. Unfortunately, if you can't say k, then you can't say mqavs. That is it. So today we're going to do a mini workshop before we begin the class so that I get you accustomed to hearing the difference between k and k. Because that's how I learned it. My technique was simply to elongate k, which I've written down here from loch. I also speak Spanish. So for me, mujer, Javier, ch was a sound which I already dominated. So I would start here. Ch. When you're comfortable with your ch sound, you can say things like chalchi, people. Chuti, five. Chatva, chatva. Ch, 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 ch. Now, once you've got that down, imagine interrupting ch at the very end with a very sharp stop. So it goes from ch to If I were to exchange the ch from chalchi with this one, it would be chalchi. It's wrong. Actually, it reminds me of my tutorial number two, because my first tutorial, I dealt with the adjective sounds already. My example was bachachi, which is frog. But I also looked at other adjectives, which were k, p, t, t, and ch. The way that these are go, am I going too fast? Okay, well, you're just gonna have to watch it again and slow it down. The way that these are written in my tutorials are with a Q and an apostrophe. This is to demonstrate that this sound is a hard adjective. <coughs> in the Georgian way, it's just a Y. This is simply because it looks the same and it's just Q-U-E-R-T, Y, and so it's easy to find. Allegedly, I can't confirm it, but actually uh, Qaf is the word in Arabic uh, for this sound. And so perhaps you will find it that way. Whatever you do, to get this letter into your vocabulary, the sooner the better, to be honest with you. Here's a very important word that you need to get right, also quite tricky. Ali. 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 This one. Kava. Kava. Now, if you can live your life without Ali and Kava, um, well done. <laughs> but they're essential. And it really separates whether you're practicing enough or you still need time, which is the reason for this uh, first slide in this workshop. Now, of course, a trending word in Georgian, everybody loves to say it, like gamarjoba or like khachapuri. But another word is mikhva khar. Mikhva khar. This comes from the verb sikhvaruli. And the root of this is khvar. Khvar. Any declination of the verb to love in Georgian requires var. So to be confident even with that word, mikhvachar, then this kh is vital, essential, and requires practice. Georgians, of course, are not going to punish you for getting it wrong, but perhaps on the other hand, they'd be just more delighted that you got it right. Here's, of course, the point of today's class. Mem khavs. Mem khavs. Yep. Mem khavs. Not mem khavs or mem khavs. Mkhavs. These are three words which I want to put together because it's tkhe, 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 tkhe. Tkhe is a forest. Tkhem lebi are cherry plums, which grow abundantly in Georgian. If you go to a Georgian restaurant, you can order 
Tremali. Now, Tremali is absolutely delicious. And you can get Zitelli, Tremali, and Zwane, Tremali. And it is a type of cherry plum sauce. You might see it in the long version. Tremlis, Satzebeli. Satzebeli simply just meaning sauce. This might be written on the product itself in the supermarket, but you're going to be ordering tremali and uh, dipping things in it and Georgians make it. It's absolutely delicious. It's a savory sauce. Many people call it Georgian ketchup. But again, at the table, talking to someone that you love, water, coffee, have, it's unavoidable. So like I said, just perhaps look at this video and try my exercise, which is and see if it helps. Slide two now deals with the past and the present and the future of the verb to have in Georgian. And it's deceptively simple today. There are, of course, a lot of factors that really need to be taken in consideration with this verb. But I'm going to start from the very beginning, okay? How we say it. I had. Memchavda. I have. Memchavs. I will have. Memcholeba. Sounds easy. But let's look at obviously having something that's alive, for example. So let's say you had a dog. Okay? Memchavda zagli. Memchavda zagli. The mistake and the main objective of today is to say Memkonda zagli. That would be wrong. Of course, if the dog ran away, if you gave the dog away, if the dog died, then things start to get contextual and you're going to need them, the same as you would in English. But this is just from a grammatical perspective. It's somewhere to start as we get more comfortable with this verb. Me mqavda zagli. Me me mqavs oritzma. Me mqavs oritzma. Not me mqavs oritzma. That's a mistake. I have two brothers. In the future, chval, I don't have space for chval here, but chval me mech oleba mama chemis mankana. Chval me mech oleba mama chemis mankana. In the future, I'm going to have my dad's car tomorrow. What I would say, of course, is that mankana is a vehicle that transports living things, and so it fits into the category of chola. One thing as well, uh, ole, 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 ole. This is very flamenco, but it was one thing that I needed to put into the word in my head to remember the future because it was cha, cha, cho, and that confused me a little bit. Um, let's go to another example. I used to have a bike. Adre me mqavda verosipedi. Adre me mqavda Verosipedi. This adre translates as previously. What it does, it adds extra emphasis and indeed contextualizes that you used to have a bicycle, that you no longer have a bicycle, that you don't have a bicycle anymore. Again, the English way of saying it and the Georgian way, they are often pushing and pulling each other in terms of context. Adre me mqavda verosipedi. If you can hear the tendency to use the pronoun me, me, me increases when we're using cola. Of course, we've learned that this pronoun is optional and preferred without. But you will see as we go through the practice that sometimes it just adds that extra emphasis that you do have it, that it's yours. So please remember that although it says here adre mqavda velocipedi, which is perfectly fine, adre me mqavda velocipedi could be considered to be better. It really, the jewelry is out on this one. Me ar mqavs dadzma. Me ar mqavs dadzma. This is a sort of formal, perhaps overly formal way of saying me ar mqavs dedamamishvili. Or if you do have brothers and sisters, siblings, then me mqavs dedamamishvili. Dadzma is just sister and brother in this case. 
again, more variants. And the multiple words used in Georgian to describe family members, that is a Pandora's box that I'm not opening today. Next, very soon I'll have a minibus because I'm a self-employed person and I want to drive one. Zalian male me mech oleba micro autobusi. Me zalian male me oleba micro autobusi. Now this micro autobusi has another word, a uh, informal word, which is marshrutka. The marshrutka is a Russified version of this word. And so it's very common, in fact, in ex-Soviet republics and very common in Georgia. So get used to it. That's how people move around. But there is an alternative. Zalian male me mech oleba micro autobusi. Next. If me ar mchabs that's ma. If me ar mchabs deda mamishvili, then me de diserta var. Me var de diserta. I'm an only child. If I don't have any parents, then I could say me oboli var. Me oboli bici var. I am an orphan. Here's just another example. I just wanted another time reference. So next year I'm going to have a cat. This might suggest that I couldn't have a cat before and now I'm thinking about getting a cat and next year is the year for me. So mum of al tzels kata mecholeba. Mum of al tzels kata mecholeba. Next year I'm going to have a cat. Slide three now deals with you, what you have, what you had and what you are going to have in relation to living things. I chose chickens. Chickens in the UK are kept in a coop. This would be the sakatmeshi. That means in. Sakatmeshi. Sakatme is where they're kept. Shen kravda khuti katami. Shen kravda khuti katami. It would be incorrect for you to say shen kakonda khuti katami. Because Chickens are living things. Shank Ravs Didi Ojahi. Shank Ravs Didi Ojahi. You have a big family, not Shen Gaks. Didi Ojahi. In the future, Zeg. Now, Zeg is a Zeg is a word used in Georgian for the day after tomorrow. It's in two days' time. So I wrote here tomorrow plus one. There's a bit of a debate that Zeg comes from an Armenian origin. I strongly advise for you not to bring that up. Zeg is a Georgian word that means the day after tomorrow. Shen. Gech oleba chemi mankana zeg. Shen. Gech oleba chemi mankana zeg. You are going to have my car in two days time. Here's another example using Adre. Adre kravda velocipedi. Adre shen kravda velocipedi. You previously used to have a bike. You don't have a bike anymore. You no longer have a bike. Here again, we're going back to the original Deda Mamishvili, my siblings. Shen Ar gravs dadzma. Shen ar gravs dadzma. You don't have any siblings. Soon, male, male, sami mopedi kecholeba. Shen, male, sami mopedi kecholeba. In this case, it suggests that you already have two, and soon you're going to have three. Slide 4 deals with he, she and it. Now, if we think about English where it can be a dog or it can be a mouse, then it only adds more complications to this slide. So it is going to be removed and we're going to focus on just it mas being her and him. Had or used to have something living or a method of transport. Just so we can practice the grammar. So, mas kravda, 
Mas qabda zrokhebi. Mas qabda zrokhebi. This person used to have cows. They don't have cows anymore. Maybe they've got sheep. But if you said mas konda zrokhebi, that would be a mistake. Look into the present. Mas ar qabs tsoli. Mas ar qabs tsoli. Not mas ar aqs tsoli. That would be a mistake too. Look into the future. He is going to get. He is going to have an electro scooter the day after tomorrow. Zeg. Then we would say in Georgian, Mas ech oleba electro scooter zeg. Mas zeg. Ech oleba electro scooter This person will have a scooter in two days' time. If we said Mas ech neba, that would be a mistake. Because elektroskuteri is an object that requires kola. Masadre avda velocipedi. Masadre avda velocipedi. This person used to have a bike. This person no longer has a bike. This person doesn't have a bike anymore. Again, with adre, it does help us understand the context a little better. Uh, here we have the word shvilebi. Babshvebi is also an option. Mas ar kavs shvilebi. Mas ar kavs babshvebi. Mas ar kavs shvilebi. Not mas ar aks shvilebi. Mas ar aks babshvebi. The other two are wrong. Mazeg is the day after tomorrow's tomorrow. Right? Now that really is a Georgian word. The day after tomorrow's tomorrow in three days' time. Mas mazeg ech oleba mankana. Mas ech oleba mazeg mankana. This person is going to have a car in three days' time. Zeg mazeg, please learn them. Remember ole, 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 so that we know that we're using kola in the future. Some vocabulary that we might need. An unmarried woman. Gaut chovaria. Is gaut chovaria. She is an unmarried woman. Unmarried person using ojachi as the root. Is dasa ojachebeli. Dasa ojachebeli is an unmarried single person of any gender. A bachelor in English is a person that's also unmarried and male. Now in Georgian, it's utsoloa. Is utsoloa, with tsoli being the root of utsoloa. So, gaut chvaria, utsoloa, and both of them are classified as das, das ojachebeli, unmarried or single. Just as an addition, of course, bachelor as a degree, so that we don't confuse this word, is bakalavri, bakalavri, and this refers only to education. The final point is between the dative and the nominative. If the dog in dative has an owner that is happy, then the S must be here and the owner must be in nominative with the E-E. -E. If we flip them around, the only difference would be this S. So here's an example. Zagos, Zagos, Bednieri, Patroni, Chavs. Now, if the owner has a happy dog, then patroni becomes patrons bednieri zagli chavs. Patrons bednieri zagli chavs. The position of the S with the dative and the nominative helps us confirm the direction of ownership. And that's just the beginning of the dative and the nominative, but it's the last part of today's slide. That is it, that's the last slide of today. Now next week we're going to be looking at the plural forms of this verb in exactly the same way as we dealt with kona, but of course with kola. So I will see you next week. Take care, goodbye.